Then I will release you from Ultron Sigma's grasp, or die trying. What are you, 50 cent? Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, one, one more time into the breach, John. Once more with failing. Yeah. Is it is it time for Marvel? Is is Marvel? It, it's is, is this win? Yeah. We're win. When 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 is now? Now is Marvel. God, I hope so. I hit update right before you came over too. All right, here we go. We are born of two universes, each of them imperfect, each of them... Ah, come on, Capcom's feeling better. Organic life. From their ruins, a new universe shall be forged in the fire of the stones of reality and space. All life remade in our image, in steel, free from the sins of the flesh. We are Ultron Sigma. I'm so happy that for we Mega Man's 30th anniversary, they decided to make a new Mega Man X game. Oh, are they? Well, that's what this is. <laughs> is the Mega Man X story? Yeah. Because, well, you, you know, you got, fucking you got Zero, Captain Mega you got Man X. there? What the hell was that? Yep. Uh, you got... You got Sigma... Mega Man X game. These guys just happen to be making cameos in it. <coughs> Isn't Captain America the whole like we should give the government control over our superpowers? That guy? was uh, actually Iron Man. Oh, is that Iron Man's position? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't. I I stopped keeping up with all the comic book movies. I just assumed he would have been the. Ready. Really, Tony Stark's the pro-government guy, right? Like, I don't want to tell Marvel how to do their job, but. I don't think... Like, have they looked at corporate America? Like, Tony Stark is corporate America. They're, they're not pro-big government. In the first Iron Man movie, he went fuck over the government. I'll hack your screen and show you what the government's doing with the Iron Man suit. I'm pretty sure Tony Stark is keep the damn government hands off my money. Also, this is going to be some extremely boring gameplay. So we're just fighting robots right now. At the moment. Why aren't Capcom fighting Marvel? Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're fighting with each other. And That's not what the V means. No, but, you know... They had X-Men versus Street Fighter too, but it wasn't, you know, just strictly X-Men against strictly Street Fighter characters. I'm having problems with 2017 and the meanings of words. words so is everyone meaning. else. So is everyone else. <laughs> no one to quit, do you? Here they come. Facts aren't facts anymore. I don't know if you saw the uh, story that I shared out, but um, there was a kid in the GameStop. Yeah, I did see that. Did you see that? Yeah, that. a kid in the GameStop wearing a, a number seven um, Kaepernick jersey. Yeah. <clears throat> and was talking in, in the GameStop how he was saving up for his Xbox One. And the two guys that were in there that overheard that were uh, Redskins players. Yeah. Um, and I'm not following pro football. I haven't in years. So I don't know if they're... I think one's on injured reserve or something. Yeah. Um, but because he had the um, Kaepernick's jersey on, they, they... I love that they got permission. Like, call your mom. Doctor Strange! Get permission for us to buy you an Xbox One. 
heroes of both dimensions. Welcome to ours. The Prince of Asgard has come home. Go, show him what we've made of you. So they're taking over um, Asgard, huh? Yep. Who the hell is that? It's Arthur from uh, Ghost and Goblins. Oh my god. And you, Thor, are indeed. Does he get naked at some point? He sure does. Okay. He sure does. What's this? Fresh fodder. No. And forth the horrors, Arthur will slay them. My people. What has Let them go. Thor. Hey, man, we're, like, video games, right? Like, the people of the Mushroom Kingdom were turned into bricks. It's true. That we smashed, so... Yep. It's pretty tame by comparison. Oh, my God, it's, it's the new Bionic Commando guy? Yeah. Eventually. Stark? Spencer? Nice weapon, Lance, a little. Compensating for something? Only your foolishness, Iron Man. That's a shitty comeback. Sure is. Like I mean, he's <clears throat> he's two feet tall. I'm talking about um. Ready. Whatever his name is, Fight. Arthur. Yeah, he's, um, he's two feet tall. What? No, no. Know? I'm like Iron Man had a decent line. He had a shitty comeback line. I could have workshopped that one. Well, that, that's what I'm saying is, you know, Arthur is two feet tall. What comeback did you expect him to have to any of that? I don't know. Maybe how capitalism ruins society and Iron Man is just profiting from wars. That is At least I didn't but... raise my fortune by slaughtering people in the Middle East. You know? Now he slaughtered different people. Great. Seven, six. Oh, we got new Dante. At least it's not new new Dante. Like, this is Come on, Devil May Cry Man. 3 Dante, not okay. DMC Dante. Let's call it a tie. Yo, Dante. Hmm? Out of ammo. Can the ladies come out to play? Hey, remember me? I was in a game once. Be good. I was supposed to be a mascot. Care to dance? I failed my test marketing. Uh. Bubsy the Bobcat? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought that that would be uh, Star Fox 2. Is that not uh, Star Fox 2? No. Nah. <laughs> mm. So far, all we thought is drones. Yeah. Is that going to be the whole thing? I don't think so, but, you know... This this is the the casual player's mode of choice. You know, this is where where they're gonna feel like they're badasses and I know, but at least in Infinite I was beating up other heroes. Like I feel like the formula is pretty tried and true, right? You you have two universes, so they can be from the good universe or the evil universe, and then you don't have to justify anything else, right? Yeah, they they Why is Captain America route. fighting Zero? One's from the evil universe. Done. No, Zero just doesn't like Captain America, which I am on. I am totally here for. I am totally here for Zero throwing shade at Captain America. This was my home too, Thor. Ultron Sigma is going to pay Wait, for what he's done. Wait, Mega Man's from Asgard? No, they've fused. 
Asgard and X's world. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Ultron and Sigma basically not only fuse themselves together, but their universes. Ready. Fight. They say make Mega Man kill the robots. He gets to kill the people. It's really just wait 20 seconds for the next cutscene. I swear I will release you from Ultron Sigma's grasp or die trying. What are you, 50 cent? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing, you're throwing and catching that shield a lot. You haven't done shit. Captain. <clears throat> Doctor, can you get us in? The convergence has left Asgard's magic weakened. We can breach the prison's walls from here. Good. Commander Redfield. Chris, you ready? Sure, why not? I mean, Chris Redfield can punch a bolter. No, so. we, we ought to fucking... You ought to play him with tank controls. Like... Let's have some... Prisoner better have the some integrity answer. here. He will. Oh, did you see the PS Plus lineup for uh, next month? Yeah, Melgar Solid Five. Well, this is the end. So, is Ground Zero like important to play? Not especially. I never played it. I mean, I, I haven't finished three. If I get to finish three, or wiki it, or YouTube it, and then go play four. Right. But it's kind of like poking me to do that now. But but five takes place before. Um, I think. Pretty much any of those well, games except Zero, for three. I know it was like back in the seventies again. Yeah. So I don't know if like it continues from there. It does. Do you feel it? This psychic maelstrom of torment and despair. It's it's post yeah, three it's pre sucks. one. Every prison's the same. Yeah, done a lot of hard time, huh? No, but I've put a lot of punks like you away. Yeah. <laughs> huh? So, interesting thing I found out when I was looking up the voice cast for this game. Mm -hmm. Capcom generally keeps the same actors from game to game. And Chen Li's voice actress is usually Laura Bailey, but for this game, for whatever reason, it was Ashley Burt. Huh. So, you, you know. Because I was about to say Strike, but that's not... This wouldn't have made... Ashley Burt is in the union. Yeah. So... Uh, and the Strike's over now. Oh, did it end? Yeah. I saw. I saw there was a renegotiation. They came back. Um, I didn't see that it actually ended. Yeah, they they've reached a tentative agreement. I don't know that's officially ended, but oh, I'll have to um, look that up and see what uh, if if the details are out. I'm Groot. Yes. I feel like I should just let you play through this. No, they don't need to see that. It's not like, you know, these characters die in five hits, and I haven't played with most of them, so it's not like I'm going to be doing any combo exhibitions in story mode. Yeah, I had to replay parts of the, uh, um, Commander. uh, Injustice. I probably would too, because I don't fucking know how to play it. We're not leaving without him. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We can't hold these guys off forever. No central points under discussion. No secondary payments. They'll get the job done. Cap, this is Hawkeye. We're out of time. He's coming. You see, Ultron Sigma? I've got a clear shot. Take it. Hit the limit. One more time. Ultron. 
All teams, engage! Go, go, go! Okay, so they, they did revise the secondary payments. Yeah. This, this sounds unfortunate, actually. The bonus payment, which is due no later than the release date of the game, is based on the number of sessions worked on each game, beginning with a $75 payment on the first session and totaling 2100 after 10 sessions worked. That does seem like a, a, a loss for the Union because... They weren't getting a huge royalty check, but it was the idea that they they were getting paid based on success of the product. Right. And this is all um, pre-sales. You still dare challenge us, Prince of Asgard? You shall pay for what you've done to my people! Spencer, with me! Okay. Now, this is where the story demo ends. And this fight is fixed. It does not matter what you do. You can win, you can lose. Well, you can't technically win, but you can not lose. You can lose. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try to not lose, but okay. we'll, we'll see if I can do it. I shall remove you from that throne, villain. Fools, our will is law. We will destroy you. Ready. Fight. Okay, so they did get the disclosure stuff. Um... They have in there to disclose the name, the name of the project, code name or otherwise, genre, whether the game is based on a uh, previous published intellectual property, and whether the pro, uh, performer is reprising a prior role. Now you'll see. Face our overwhelming power. And they need to disclose whether they'll be required to use unusual terminology, profanity, racial slurs, sexual content. Um, and, and other stunts. Um, and they'll have protection at disclosure so that if they don't, if they say, oh no, there's no racial slurs in it, and later the character's doing racial slurs, they, they actually have a protection in their, their contract for that. I wonder um, how the union structured if that contract option goes back for a vote. Um, or, or how that works out from there with the tentative uh, agreement. And they did it! Yay! I didn't lose. Still doesn't make a fucking difference. Great scene coming up here. And from this scene onward, you know, after this scene onward, uh, it's all new territory for me. I've managed to avoid spoilers or anything else. You shall be their prince once more. And just, like, the statements from sag after you know, on the bonus payments are significantly larger than we had 11 months ago. But looking at a total bonus of $2,100? Yeah. I mean, 20, I, I'm not going to turn that $2,100. $2,100 isn't shit, right? But... 
if you're working on Metal Gear Solid Five, or you know what I mean, and it's like yeah. here's two grand, go knock yourselves out. Red Dead Redemption Two is coming out. One place. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption has come out. Uh, we're gonna make a couple hundred million off this game. Um, here's a thousand. You know, even though like changing uh, Snake's voice is a big deal. You know. Yeah. Which I I was not in favor of of Kiefer Snake.